this tasty homemade bajiyas. So the ingredients that I'll be using to make my bajiyas, I have a uh, flour here that is uh, about one and a half cups. Um, I also have potatoes that I've already washed and also uh, peeled as you can see. And then I do have a handful of coriander and a teaspoon of garlic. And then for the spices, I'm using a teaspoon of paprika and about uh, a teaspoon as well of turmeric powder. And I have some salt to taste. So I will start off by chopping the potatoes into very thin slices. You do not want them to be too thick and or too thin so that uh, to ensure that they cook really, really well. So I've already chopped my potatoes and this is the size that you want so it's not too thick and this way you'll be very sure that your potatoes will cook very well on the inside. So next uh, we are going to make our butter so I'm going to add the dry ingredients that I'd shown you. plus the garlic as well as the handful of coriander and then mix uh, it all together so you can either use a fork or a whisk or even your hands if you wish to so I'm just going to use a whisk to just put the ingredients all in So once that is done, we'll be adding in some water, slowly by slowly, bits by bits. So adding water bits by bits will help you not to have a very runny uh, paste. So the butter that we are going for should be more or less like the pancake one so that it's not too runny and it can coat your potatoes really really well also adding water bit by bit helps you to avoid having lumps in your butter So there you have the paste, it's really well, you can see the consistency, it's just not too thick and it's not too thin. And this is what you're looking for. So now over here I have my oil that is on medium high heat. You don't want the oil to be too cold, it otherwise it will you will have soggy bajiyas. And if it's too hot, they will cook so fast on the outside and the bajiyas will not be cooked well on the inside. So make sure that your oil is on medium high um, heat. And then over here I already have a plate with a paper towel so that uh, it will soak uh, any excess oil. So now let's uh, make the bajiyas ready for deep frying. So you want to take your potatoes and dip in the bajia. So this is how you want them to be coated. Evenly coated. That's why you need your butter to not be too watery. So I'm just going to add a couple of potatoes said here and then 
we deprive them. So just turn your badgias until they are cooked to golden brown. And you'll be a hundred percent sure that they are well cooked because your slices were thin. So just turn them a little. Just checking on them. I cook them for about six or seven minutes each before I bring in the next bunch. And there you have the bajas ready looking really beautiful golden brown i hope you did enjoy this recipe thank you so much for watching